the recently increasing level of consumption of fuel and energy resources, deterioration in the quality of oil being produced and refined, and introduction of new requirements imposed on the component content of fuel products, Euro 4 and Euro 5, in which the mass content of sulphur, nitrogen and oxygen compounds and aromatic and olefinic hydrocarbons has to be reduced, are leading to modern oil refineries paying greater attention to hydrogenation processes for oil refining. What is the hydrogenation process? This is the process of treating hydrocarbons with hydrogen in the presence of a special catalyst, such as a porous alumina carrier with a metal coating of cobalt, nickel and molybdenum tungsten. The introduction of Euro 4 and Euro 5 standards requires increasing the activity of catalysts being used. How is catalyst activity increased? Primarily by using a specially developed carrier, tablet, sphere or cylinder are presently not considered as optimal. Granules in the form of a trilobe of reduced size are free of such shortcomings. Diffusion of hydrocarbons throughout their volume occurs more easily and carburization of individual parts of the catalyst does not occur. The entire volume of the granule is effective. The spreading of hydrocarbon molecules throughout the volume of the catalyst is possible due to the use of a porous carrier. It is usually made of activated alumina. But it is impossible to achieve the necessary radial distribution of pores for good diffusion of hydrocarbon molecules throughout the granule just by using activated alumina. Therefore, various modifying additives to the carrier are used. For example, a feature of hydrocracking which distinguishes it from hydrotreating is the need to break long hydrocarbon molecules into smaller ones. For this purpose, zeolite Y is used as the additive to the carrier in KNT Group's catalysts. The zeolite crystals are penetrated by a network of special secondary pores, forming a system of unique nanoreactors. The breaking of hydrocarbon chains begins in secondary pores and continues in the interior parts of the zeolite. The cobalt molybdenum sulfur phase is the elementary particle responsible for reactions in hydrogenation processes. It represents nano-sized packets of a compound of molybdenum or tungsten disulfide with cobalt or nickel atoms localized along the edges. There are several types of such compounds, the main ones of which are phase 1 and phase 2. When increasing catalyst activity, the aim is to create on the carrier surface a highly dispersed cobalt molybdenum sulfur phase 2, which does not have a bond with the carrier, with a cluster size of 3 to 4 nanometers. The main problem when synthesizing a hydrotreating catalyst is the formation of multi-layer packets of the active component. The active phase of KNT Group's hydrotreating catalysts is uniformly distributed over the carrier surface and has a monolayer structure, which in turn allows catalyst activity in hydrodesulfurization processes to be substantially increased. The increase of catalyst activity in hydrogenation reactions is a priority task. Therefore, under industrial production conditions, constant checking to determine the catalytic properties of the catalyst produced is necessary. To obtain reliable results of investigations, it is necessary to analyze the catalyst under conditions as close as possible to real operating conditions. For this purpose, specialists of the KNT group are operating a pilot plant under a pressure of up to 150 atmospheres. The pilot plant consists of a raw material supply unit, high temperature furnace which contains a reactor with a preliminarily prepared catalyst, two separators, high and low pressure, and a process control unit. The raw materials used are gasoline, diesel fuel and vacuum gas oil, mixed with hydrogen and fed under high pressure into the reactor with a preliminarily sulfided catalyst.
the reaction product from the reactor goes to the high and low pressure separators for separating dissolved gases. The product forming during the process is checked for residual content of sulfur, nitrogen and oxygen containing compounds, harmful metallic impurities and its component and fraction composition is determined. With KNT group catalysts, the sulfur content in the hydrogenate obtained as a result of treating diesel fuel is 5 to 8 parts per million. The spent catalyst is removed from the reactor and a number of tests are conducted on it, during which its degree of carburization, composition and porosity are determined. The data obtained during operation of the pilot plant, as compared with the results of plants operating under real industrial production conditions, demonstrate that the pilot plant superbly simulates the real operating conditions of the catalyst. KNT group catalysts of hydrogenation processes are a modern, high-tech product created as a result of many years of work by the leading specialists in this field. KNT group catalysts mean reliability, quality and cutting-edge production technology.